Let's now move to item number 10. Item number 10 is proclamation honoring the life of El Paso County Deputy Sheriff Andrew S. Peary, Stan Vanderwerf Chair, Board of County Commissioners, Cami Bremer, Vice Chair, Board of County Commissioners, Holly Williams, Commissioner, Board of County Commissioners, Kerry Geithner, Commissioner, Board of County Commissioners, Lojinos Gonzalez, Jr., Commissioner, Board of County Commissioners. Mr. Chair, it is my honor to move for approval of proclamation honoring the life of El Paso County Deputy Sheriff Andrew S. Peary. Whereas with a heavy and broken heart, this board honors the life and selfless sacrifice of El Paso County Deputy Sheriff Andrew S. Peary, who was tragically killed in the line of duty on Sunday, August 7th, 2022, as he answered a desperate call for help. And whereas the senseless act of violence that took Deputy Sheriff Peary's life deprived his wife, Megan, of her husband, his two children, Matt and Amy, of their father, his mother, Sandy, of her son, his siblings, Davy, Matt, Mark, Donovan, and Sarah, of a brother, and countless others of a loved one, hero, neighbor, and friend. And whereas Deputy Peary dedicated his life to the service of others, he served in the United States Army from 2001 to 2014 as a member of the 173rd Airborne Brigade, where he was part of the U.S. Army's Contingency Response Force that provided rapid forces to the European, African, and Central Command areas of responsibility. During his time in the United States Army, he deployed to Iraq three times developing over 600 military ops in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. And whereas, after separating from the U.S. Army, Deputy Peary continued a life of service by enrolling in the police academy, graduating on August 15, 2014, and joining the Bakersfield, California Police Department that same year, a decision that placed him on a similar path as his father, David, who served as an officer for the Los Angeles Police Department and a Kern County, California District Attorney Investigator, and his older brother, Matt, who also served in the United States Army and is a 24-year veteran of the Bakersfield, California Police Department. And whereas in 2016, Deputy Peary joined the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, where he served and protected county residents as a highly decorated and well-respected SWAT operator wherein his fellow deputies described him as a leader, a good follower, passionate, brave, a skilled operator who was roundly loved, and as Sergeant Jason Garrett described him, he was the best of us. And whereas on August 7th, 2022, Deputy Perry's life culminated in the most sacred and ultimate sacrifice a public servant can make. Keeping true to the values he forged as a man, a veteran, and a law enforcement officer until the end. And whereas we echo the words of Sheriff Bill Elder, who in a tender message to Deputy Peary's wife, Megan said the following, Megan, we are so sorry for your loss. Your husband is a hero, not for how he died, but for how he lived. Thank you for sharing him with the Sheriff's office. Now, therefore be it resolved that the El Paso Board of County Commissioners honors the life of service Life of service lived by Deputy Andrew S. Peary. Now, therefore, be it further resolved that we likewise thank him for the sacrifice he made for all of the residents of El Paso County and for his service to our great nation. Now, therefore, be it further resolved to all who mourn the life of Deputy Peary, particularly his wife, Megan, his children, Matt and Amy, everyone who served with him and to those who joined Andrew that night to help Alex Paz, we pray that the spirit will heal your broken heart bind your wounds, and bless you with peace. May we all take comfort in the promise of the Lord as found in Isaiah, who said, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Done this 23rd day of August 2022 at Colorado Springs, Colorado. Signed, the Board of County Commissioners of El Paso County, Colorado, Stan Vanderwerf Chair, Cami Van Bremer Vice Chair, Lohinos Gonzalez Jr., Holly Williams, and Carrie Geithner members, attested to by Chuck Borman, County Clerk and Recorder. Second. All right, very good. That's been moved and seconded. Thank you for the reading, uh, Commissioner. And uh, do we have anybody that would like to come up and speak for a moment? Good morning, Sheriff. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Sheriff Bill Elder. 
um, I don't know how much I can speak. That's tough. Um, you know, I got a bunch of staff with me. Um, why don't you guys come up here? Maybe I'll do something where I won't cry with you guys standing behind me. You know, the toughest thing, toughest thing we do um, is bury one of our comrades. And um, Andrew was a good guy. And um, this is the third time for us. And it's, um, it's tough and it's old. And I thank you for, um, as a board, as a, you know, to a person, the people that sit up here, for the things that you've done to support us and the care that you have, um, that you have shown um, and your hearts. And I appreciate that. Um, and I know that, you know, every one of the men and women that are behind me and the men and women of the sheriff's office do the same. Um, anybody else want to bail me out here? <laughs> Nobody? I'll make it clear. I'm Lieutenant Jim Vidmar. I've been assigned since this incident occurred as the liaison representative from the office for Megan, Matthew, and Amy. And they're beginning to get back, take baby steps into getting back to their day-to-day -day activities. So Megan went back to work today, but I can tell you that they very much appreciate all of the support and the outreach from everyone in the community and from the sheriff's office and the county. And uh, they're, they're extremely overjoyed with all of the support they received since this happened. Thank you. Thanks, Ed. You know, the, um, it has been my life honor um, to serve here doing what I do for the last eight years as your sheriff, um, but doing what I've done since 1979. And um, I know that I'm leaving it in the extremely capable hands of this crew behind me. And I'm excited for the future of the organization. Um, I'm excited for the future of El Paso County. This is, you know, and I've said it a bunch of times, but this is the largest sheriff's office in the state by quite a bit. And we have some of the most talented people working here. Um, uh, not only, the, not only the, the command group that's behind me, but people like Andrew. Um, and I just, and I thank you for the work that you're doing to take care of them, to compensate them, to help us recruit and retain people. Um, and I just, um, thanks for doing this today. It's a big deal. Thank you, Sheriff. Anybody else? All right. Um, seeing none, I'll bring this up to the dais and uh, ask for comments from my fellow commissioners. Commissioner Gonzalez. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, you know, I'm pr proud to be uh, have my name on this and uh, and for the county and 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 the given support to uh, the sheriff's department and to uh, Deputy Peary's family uh, and in remembering how he lived. Uh, and all the great things that he did as a hero uh, to our community. Uh, these are these do hit hard. Uh, as the sheriff mentioned, this is the third, and so uh, I know two of us have been up here all, for all three. Uh, and then seeing, you know, we ran into Rachel at, at the ceremony as well, the, the memorial, and, and bringing all that back uh, because it does hit hard. Uh, anytime we lose one, it's, it's one too many, uh, and we know that, and we know it hurts the, the sheriff's department the hardest. And so I appreciate all the work that you've done for our community, appreciate the, the difficulties you all do. Uh, and I tell this every time I, I, I do speak at some law enforcement uh, where I, I, I'm always supportive of them. Um, I've, I've gone to these pro police rallies and, and they've occasionally let me speak and, and I tell the same thing. I was active duty military for 20 years, deployed to the Middle East. And when I was deployed, uh, and even in some Latin America areas, uh, when I was deployed, that's when I was worried. But when I was back here at home, I always felt safe. And for law enforcement, it's every day. And it's every day for your families. And he did both. And so he lived that and his family lived that. And so uh, uh, what I felt just, you know, part time when I was deployed, this is what you go through and this is what your families go through every day. So I appreciate all the dedication that you do and just want, I just want to pass that along to the family. God bless and thank you for everything. Thank you, Commissioner. 
Uh, Commissioner Bremer. Thank you. Um, thank you all for being here today. I know um, it's been a rough few weeks, uh, to say the least, and um, I just appreciate the extra effort that it took to, uh, to come um, and do this, and we are more than happy to do any efforts we can to make sure that Deputy Peary's life is celebrated and remembered, and that more than that, the um, the service that that you do every day, you know, um, Sheriff, I'm glad that you had them stand up and stand behind you because it was um, it's a beautiful and moving visual of of what the uh, the thin blue line does. Um, you stand behind each other, and that line shuffles from time to time, and you figure out how how you can stand behind those who need you, and stand in front of those who need you. Um, and that's just an, an overwhelming visual today. Um, so thank you for being here. Thank you for um, for standing that line with uh, around Megan and her kids, um, and for all of those, um, including yourselves in the department that are hurting um, with the loss of your colleague. Um, you know, one of the things that struck me um, both at the at the memorial um, and then we heard it again today uh, was the thank you from the sheriff. Uh, thank you for sharing Deputy Peary um, with the sheriff's office. That was delivered, uh, that message was delivered to Megan. Um, and I'd like to reinforce that and say thank you for sharing him with our entire community um, because that's, uh, he clearly had a heart of service um, and one that that should be celebrated. Um, and I know that many of you share that same heart of service and our community is deeply grateful for that. Um, and you probably don't hear it enough. I'm glad you can hear it directly from us today. Thank you, Commissioner. Great comments. And as is our tradition, uh, we'll have uh, the commission that read the proclamation provide the closing comments. Uh, so I'll provide mine now and then I'll pass this uh, to Commissioner Geithner. And I'd like to just start by saying, thank God that we have such fine men and women in the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Every one of you is dedicated to public safety in our community. And I thank every one of you for doing that. And of course, we wanna thank um, Deputy Sheriff Peary for his sacrifice and his work to keep our community safe. And many of you have heard me share this, but I'm gonna share it again. Uh, you know, um, uh, um, Commissioner Gonzalez and I served in the military. I served for 28 years. I sometimes commanded large organizations and I sometimes commanded them overseas. And I felt very fortunate to have never lost anybody on my watch during those 28 years of service. I had to become a county commissioner to lose people on my watch. And now it's three. That's very um, important to me. And it tells me uh, the work you do is so important. It also tells me that sometimes the battles are not overseas. Sometimes the battles are right here in our own neighborhoods. So I can tell you that I thought the uh, celebration of life was a great event. Um, uh, dedicated to memorializing um, uh, Deputy Sheriff Peary. Um, it was important. It, I thought it was healing. It was good for me as well. It's been tough for all of us. And I want to uh, offer my prayers to the Peary family. Uh, they're suffering too. We all know that. Uh, but we are strong and we're going to make, make it through this. Uh, we've done a lot to honor Deputy Peary. And we need to continue to honor him and everybody else in law enforcement that has lost their lives or been otherwise harmed in some way and thank them over and over again for all the great things that they've done to keep every one of us safe. And those are my comments. And at this point, I'll pass it over to Commissioner Geithner. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I really appreciate all of the comments of my colleagues and I was honored to be able to read this proclamation. So thank you for allowing me to do that. Um, Deputy Perry and his family were 
and are residents of my district in Falcon. And so um, I feel this very closely to uh, the community. And I know there are others here too that uh, are part of that community and, and know how, um, how deeply we care for our local folks and, and, and how much we want to make sure that the family is supported. But Commissioner Gonzalez said something um, that echoed very strongly with me that I have thought about as well is that when he was deployed, those were the days you worried, but most of the time, even as a military member, when you were home, you knew you were safe. And that's not different for spouses. Um, when my husband was deployed, it was a very scary time. And I worried every single night that I would wake up the next morning with someone at my door. And that was just a year. And so I know that this family and each one of your families have those worries and anxieties every single day that you're on the job. So I'm so grateful that you are all willing to continue that. And I'm grateful to Andrew Peary and I am grateful to his family for the tremendous, you know, not just one year and, and not to say deployments aren't a very scary place and we don't have many service members who serve over and over again as Deputy Perry did, but you do it day in and day out and so did he. And so I am so grateful for that. And as I said, I know, I know all of El Paso County cares deeply um, and we'll do everything that we can to continue to support his family. Um, but I know my community of Falcon especially is, is leaning in on this. I'm sure that you, most of you have seen, I know that uh, there are a few people that have been around the office have been doing things. Um, and I know that that will continue. And, and I am honored to be um, charged with that as a citizen of this community to continue to uphold that family. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for what you do every day. Thank you to Andrew Peary's family. Thank you, Commissioner, and thank you to all my Commissioner colleagues for your great comments. We have uh, some brief business to do, and that is to vote on the proclamation. Let's go ahead and proceed with that. We do have a motion and a second. Uh, Commissioner Geithner. Aye. Commissioner Gonzalez. Aye. Commissioner Bremer. Aye. And the chair votes aye. That passes 4-0 with Commissioner Williams excused. Let's take a brief recess.